Hey everyone, welcome to a new video from the Newsy playlist. In this video, we're going to implement the onboarding view model. And let's actually do that. Before anything, let me just remove this and this. And let's go to the presentation package here to create a new class for the onboarding package. And let's call this onboarding view model. And I'm also going to create a new class and let's call this on boarding event and this is going to be sealed class so this class will have the events that will be sent from the ui to the view model so for this one we are going to only have one event and that is save app entry event so let's create an object call this save app entry and let's extend from onboarding event now we can go to the view model and here let's actually extend from view model let's basically set up this one and we want to also annotate this with health view model because we want to use we want to inject the use cases using inject constructor and here we want to just inject the app into use cases so in here we're only going to expose one function that is on event and here we are going to receive an event from onboarding event. And then we're going to check what type of event we have. In this case, we're only going to have one event. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to check that in case you will have more events in the future. So you can just check them in here. So we can check here if this onboarding event dot save entry, then we can call. Let me add this arrow here. And then we can actually create a new function here called save app entry. And then I'm going to create this one. In here, we're going to use the app entry use cases to save app entry. But uh, I think we should, yeah, we should use a view model scope here because this is a suspend function. And we're going to just move this inside. Okay, so by the way, this on event is the only exposed function, the only public function inside the view model, and all the functions or the other functions are private. So we're only gonna be able to deal with this on event from the outside. And this is just like a combination between MVI and MVVM. And we do this because we don't want to use the view model directly inside our screen. We just want to expose the events to the outside. And that way it makes uh, the screen testable and we can actually preview the screen without any issues. So now let's go to the onboarding screen and here, instead of just creating a view model here like this, uh, we are not going to do that. Actually, we're just going to expose the event and this is going to be Lambda. So onboarding event and this retains nothing. So on the button click here. Let's remove this to do comment. We can simply just call event and we can send onboarding event dot save app entry. Now from the main activity from the place that we call this screen in here, we are going to get that event. So we need a view model first. Let's actually get that. So we can say view model equals health view model. But let's also specify what kind of view model we want. So in this case, on boarding view model and when we get an event we can simply say view model double colon on event so the double colon here is just uh, an alternative for this instead of calling view model dot on event and then send the event we can just do it this way and here i don't know why i deleted the use case because we want to observe what happens when we save when we click on that button so let me just restore what i deleted so here we injected the use cases and in here i'm gonna again launch a lifecycle scope and i'm gonna just use read app entry and collect that and then here i'm gonna log this it to the string so now let's launch the app so initially we're going to get false and when we click on the last button we should print true so next next now let's click on get started uh, we did not print that why i don't know seems like we have let's actually launch the app again see what we're gonna get we got 
apples. Uh, there should be a problem. I'm gonna cut the video and get back to you. Okay, so the issue is actually from here. The current page here, let's change that to 2. And now this should work. So let's actually observe the look at. And now we got false. Next, next, let's get, on get started. And yup, we saved that and we got a true. Now, if we exit the app and we enter it again, we should see true. And yup, now we know that we successfully saved true when we clicked on get started. Okay, so that was all I wanted to show you for this video. In the next video, we're going to implement the Navigraph and I will see you there.